around the world, monuments written in stone stand testament to the great national movements. And if you look carefully and listen hard, they can come alive with heroic stories of imagination and vision. Twelve decades ago, a group of men met in the billiards room of Hayes Hotel in Thurlis and founded an association to preserve our national games and pastimes. If still alive today, the founding fathers would scarcely recognise their creation. has blossomed into an organisation that's the envy of sporting federations around the globe. It's the ultimate Irish success story, a self-sufficient body at the heart of our nation's social, cultural and sporting life. In its early years, the association helped a newly independent Ireland to express its own identity. The people warmly embraced games and pastimes that dated back thousands of years. And clubs and competitions were formed in almost every parish in the country. Before long, new legends and lore were being created for generations to come. DJ Carey, the Dodger himself. After him there was Ollie Baker, DJ steadying himself, turning it in beautifully and putting it over the bar. But it's not just Croke Park that has witnessed changes over the years. All over the country, a major programme of investment has transformed the GAA and ensured that ordinary members and players can access the very best facilities available. It's at grassroots level that the true spirit of the association is still to be found. Where its people, and activities contribute hugely to the cultural and social life of the community. The GAA never loses sight of the fact that its strength has been built on the sweat of ordinary members in over 2,000 parishes around the country. And this commitment to the grassroots has nurtured a unique culture where Ireland's biggest sports stars could still be your next door neighbour. But the GAA isn't resting on its laurels. Seeing the past only as a launch pad to the future, it's embracing a culture of continuous improvement, growing the games in the heartland and sowing seeds in new territories. Expanding to include the many faces of a young and vibrant Irish society and investing in the future to safeguard the health of the games for the next generation.
There is barely a corner of Ireland or a citizen of the state that hasn't been touched by the GAA. Through its dedication, imagination and strong sense of values, the association is a potent symbol of modern Ireland's sense of self. As it faces tomorrow and the challenges of a third century, this is a movement of unshakable confidence. This is GAA Today.